That's both packs done. Finally done. Oh. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wire the BMS up. I've got. To, I'm going to tape these together. I'm just going to put some tape around the outside just to hold them together. And then I'm going to wire the BMS up. Now I think because the BMS is going to have to go on this side, is it? Or this side? This side. The BMS is going to go on this side. So for anyone who wanted to see, this is the BMS. These are um, all the D balance controllers. There's all the balance bank um, of resistors and there's the temperature sensor where it goes on to the balance bank. So if you're balancing this one, this cell here, or the, you know, the end cell, the temperature doesn't actually have anything to do with that one. It's only really on that one. So, yeah, it's a bad design really, but how are you going to monitor every single one apart from having a temperature sensor on every single one of those? Now on here, this is the Bluetooth module, which I am taking off. So that's the BMS. These are all the MOSFETs, uh, the discharge FETs. Um, if you buy the 8 amp version you get something like that many and the rest of it is unpopulated if you buy the 100 amp version you get something like that populated and the rest are missing now I don't know so don't quote me on this I don't know if you buy the 60 amp or the 80 amp if you can actually put the FETs on there I don't know if you can actually do it purely because I think it's software driven so they may have programmed something into the BMS to actually uh, limit the peak power. So if you populate that with any more, then you may not be able to enable it in the software. I don't know. I've, obviously, I've never tried it because these are so bloody cheap. I just bought the, bought the full populated one. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to use that one as a, as a test. And that plugs into there like that. And there's your BMS. And the heat sinks go on the top and the bottom and that's it. Because I don't practice what I preach, I totally forgot something. I'm marking what I'm on about. <laughs> um, this is going to be the positive. This is going to be the negative. So I've got to link these in series to give me the 20S. Now, soldering directly to this bit here is going to be fine because there's only the negative actually exposed. So if the insulator or the, 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 the covering um, gets damaged, it doesn't matter whatsoever. On this side, it does do, it matters because this is the positive side. Now, what I told Mark, what I told him to do was if you when you solder these together lift it slightly so as you've got something to actually solder to without it melting the insulator and I forgot so what I've had to do is very very carefully I've lost it get a screwdriver and just start prising it up a bit just enough so as it doesn't touch the the cell itself so if it does melt the insulator it doesn't matter That's one thing to bear in mind. So I've got a. I'm only doing this so as I can put the BMS on and I can balance all these cells and make sure everything's okay. So I'm just going to tack some wires from there to there, and then I can get the BMS and 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 do something with it. Is that right? That's positive, negative. Sorry. I got it wrong. Right, try that again. This one is a bit of a mess, as you can see. This is where I lost the will to live and I thought of an easier way of doing it. That's actually three, I think it's three layers. This is 12 mil, I think it's 12 mil wide, that's 10 mil wide. This is the rough one, this is the very bad one. This is 12 mil wide, 0.2 mil 
um, nickel that's 10 mil wide but it's all it's three layers the same exactly I hope it's the same anyway. right so what I've got to do is I've got to lift this bit here a few of the couple of these so that's going to be the positive and then I'll take a negative off there to put on the positive on there and then that will be the negative get what I mean hey this is now the very technical and dangerous part of wiring the battery is putting the BMS in. Uh, if you get something wrong, fire happens and people die. Squirrels in the street will just fall over dead and then you'll feel guilty and probably commit suicide, don't know. So, this is the BMS, as you know. I'm going to put a link in the description to these and they're going to be on cloudstow.com, not the Aliexpress. You can find them on Aliexpress, but if you buy them on cloudstow.com, you're supporting Andy and you're supporting the UK, the business, do it, buy one off Andy, link below. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make it modular, so as I can unplug a pack, the balanced side of it, the I think I should be able to do the power side of it as well because one goes one side, one goes the other obviously so that's the left hand side, this is the right hand side these are balance leads uh, balance connectors, so I've got some 4, are they 4S? 1, 2, 3, 4 they're 4S connectors so I've got 5, K, five, five connectors on there so I'm going to use two fives in parallel obviously so as I can split the battery if I need to which is going to be a bit of a challenge but that's the way I want it so if, if I have a problem with one of the packs it's going to be easier for me to just unplug it pull the pack out rather than actually unsolder all the bloody wiring which is going to be it's going to be covered in that stuff which is near enough the perfect bloody size so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get five. So I've got one. I've got to put a sole. I've, I've got to connect that up. So I'm going to wire it negative off there, positive off that one as well. And then it's going to be the positive and then the positive, and then the positive, then the positive, then the positive, that sort of thing, so what I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll solder that one up and I'll show you what I did I wasn't very well yesterday um, I started doing this and my stomach started going very badly, very very quickly consequently I spent the night in the toilet don't know how don't know what I've caught it off, don't know who I caught it from, I'll bloody well find you. Anyway, I sat there this morning thinking about this, about to mount it. I think what I'm going to do is, obviously this is the, the top of the, the box, the ammo box. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it there, I'm going to get some heat sink um, pads or something. I think anyway, and I'm going to mount it there. And then this will act as a heat sink, although it's steel. I was toying with the idea of making my own. Somebody's dropped a comment on one of my videos saying, make your own battery cases. No, I can't. I can't be bothered. It's I've got these. They cost a bloody fortune. Well, not a fortune. They were expensive because they're brand spanking new. There's not a mark on them yet. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this. It's a bit of a, a bit of a pain that that's there. But it has to be there, unfortunately, unless I'm flattening it out. So I'm going to be mounting that there somehow. Don't know how, because the cables are going to go down the side, front, back. Don't know. I don't know.
can hear me over this bloody noise. Um, I've had the beer mess running on this for about 12 hours, I think it is, and <laughs> it's so high capacity that it won't balance the cells. It's going to take at least five or six days to actually bring them down. So what I've had to do is the highest, the lowest one, which is 3.6 volts, I think it is, which is this one here. I've had to put a positive there and a negative there and actually balance it through this to bring it up to 3.7 volts, which is what the rest of them are. And even that, it's... Uh, it's going to take a long, long time. I'm balancing a bit more professional this time, <laughs> instead of jamming wires in the cells. I'm going through the balance leads. Now, if you need to balance these or discharge them or charge them or whatever else you need to do now obviously everything every one of these has got a positive and one's got a negative now on these balance leads here one goes to the positive and one goes to the negative so if I take let's say for instance those two leads and I'll follow those leads that one which one is it that one there goes to the negative of that cell and the positive of that one. So that's the negative of that one. And then that one next to it goes to the positive of that one. So those two wires there is the positive and the negative of that bank, that parallel bank. So you can quite easily, like I am doing now, you can just tap into those or just use an Arduino header, take the pins out and just jam them in the wires. You know what I mean? Very professional. So you can actually do it that way. Um, somebody very close to me has mentioned something about um, the danger of building batteries. Or let, let's just say his brow was raised. Um, if you know what you're doing and you keep things safe and with things like this, if you keep them in a in a storage charge voltage, they are one hundred percent safe. As long as you don't go and do th bloody stupid things with them, that I've seen some people that have just overcharged them, they've over uh, currented them, uh, they've they've pumped them to the absolute max, and they've set on fire. So there's plenty of videos online of people who have actually done that sort of thing. If you treat them with respect, they are 100% safe. Tesla cars rarely burst into flames now unless the bloody driver don't know what they're doing. So, actually, no, the only time a Tesla burst into flames now is when it crashes. But there you go.